G'day viewers, what a swashbuckling first series we have had. Full of tasty pies, mystical lakes, and even ghosts. But this is just the start of our wild ride together. Now most adventurers, when they go on a long trip, like to take a companion with them, whether it be a dog or their best friend. For me, it's my hat. This hat has been with me through thick and thin for almost 25 years since the beginning. And through some recently acquired archival footage, tonight I'm going to share with you some of the highlights and lowlights of our journey together. Many years ago, when both my hat and I were in better condition, the American TV show Survivor was filming at a top secret location in Outback Australia. The big wigs at CBS claimed no one could find out where they were filming, but they didn't bank on the determination and ingenuity of a young and plucky Akuba clad crypto naturalist. It took me days of sneaking through the rugged bushland to discover their location and to work out their patrol patterns. But I found it. I found the location of Survivor, the Australian outback. So I hired a helicopter and dropped chocolates over their remote campsites. It was their first alternative to witchetty grubs and feral pig for weeks. My unauthorized food drop made international news that night. I then spent months touring the US, appearing on rival TV networks to chat about my Outback adventures. I even got arrested for towing a blow-up crocodile down a frozen sewer canal in Cincinnati, Ohio. But this wasn't the first time I'd appeared on camera. Hello and welcome back to the show. Now I'm having a chat here with one of our favourite guests, Tim the Yowie Man. Tim, welcome to the show. Where are you taking us today? Well, Amber, I'm going to take you to probably one of my most special places in the whole world. I'm going to take you to Outback Australia. G'day, I'm Tim the Yowie Man. As a crypto naturalist, my study of strange and hidden phenomena has taken me to all corners of the globe in search of sea serpents, cursed shipwrecks, ghosts, basically just about anything that's mysterious. As you can see, my Kubra and I have had some, let's say, memorable moments on the big screen but all in the search for the mysterious and the unexplained. <laughs> my quest for the ever elusive Yowie was a focus of my attention for many years. After my first sighting of the mysterious creature in the Snowy Mountains in 1994, I have searched for similar hairy bipedal hominid-like beasts all over the world. But it's not only Yowies, we've also been on the track of Bunyips near Sydney, cursed shipwrecks off the West Australian coast, and Tasmanian tigers. Interspersed between this has been all manner of international missions, from searching for the Mongolian death worm, apparently they don't like the colour yellow, and countless attempts to find evidence of the Loch Ness Monster. The last quarter of a century has been a rollicking journey of discovery. Being a crypto naturalist has taken me to many interesting, and unusual locations. As you have seen in my new series, my adventures continue. However, I think it's time I gave my old mate here a bit of a break. As you have seen, we've been through a heck of a lot together. I'm Tim the Owie Man, and as always, thanks for watching.
You happy with that? I'm happy with that. Do you want to uh, take the lens cap off? 